My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you many chances, yet you burned each one. Such ingratitude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
victorious fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. I'll approach you in the court's name. And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, 
but cumbersome, he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know, his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. <clears throat> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again. On the gold bend the toll life of human or for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We to death and ever grow. Huh? Here, yeah. you see what bliss my fate well, shows. Well, <laughs> luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a oh, fruit yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! No matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh?
prescient. Someone gets so rub off to run. for pluck your hair and make an offer. Mountain have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers, before it was ruined by that fire. Ah, oh. then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? Oh. You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh. It's a tough one. Good luck to you!
It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one, Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! Oh, the young wise these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach him a lesson with your new spell!
Strata. Our mighty king's got serious power. <laughs> You don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. <laughs> it might be humble. But my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore. But be wary. A few this form wine. does not I last. Wonder if there's anything Should you find yourself no. lost? Just follow my voice. Now, off you go. Rusted monk is roaming again. Rest won't come easy tonight.
Monkey, I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy? What say you? Oh! <laughs> 
You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be alarmed.
set off that beast. In the backyard is Blackwind Gwai's ally, calls itself Ling Schutze. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, get away while you can, little monkey. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back! No! 
Look around. A great pill. The black wind guide gifted the wolf. Finally, it would be a deserving reward for that fight. Noble blood doesn't prey on travelers like you. You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. 
Black Wing Gwai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now, I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then. Really a <laughs> Thank you. 
bound by worldly pain, now free in nature's sin. Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wills float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. This is better. This gourd, though humble, may save the lost, banish their obsessions, and guide them. For one as destined as you, there can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds, drifting through life, with a destiny beyond our grasp. Fair sights fade, but with ink I bid them stay. The road has claimed you, now you must see it through. Your heart will guide you further. We shall meet again. Fair sights fade. The road has clean. Your heart will guide you.
humble one's name is Guangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire! to burn the great sage and Tang Monk alive. That's these two. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yao Guais? ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead and take them out once and for all?
<laughs> These snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Huaguo. Uh, I've met many of you. By rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. <laughs> but I'm just an old monkey, banished to the mortal world. Uh, I brought treasure trove. Fight, fight, but not without a gourd that suits just right. Hailed bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? Past's grip beyond our grasp, the future we may still clasp. Late is the hour, young one, in which you choose to stay in my tranquil abode. Pray tell. To what end do you seek? Yet it engulfs all the power of water. Can you feel it?
forced my hand. Now you shall face what I truly am. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed and fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells, have you seen them all? Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the Black Wind Guire's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp and keep a lookout. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank Mitaba. Oh, finally then, the three bells sang. Disciples come, I hear travelers approaching my temple carrying new treasures. I cannot see you, but I recognize your odor. Now give it back!
270 years spent. <laughs> Kasaya's collected by the hundreds. <sighs> Still one chalk without his. Oh. No, stop, stop, stop. Go on, go on. That's right. Leave it. Just leave it. Stop the fire. The fireproof mantle. The great sage borrowed it from Virapaksa. How did it end up here? You must have freed that miserable soul. Oh, such is his end. A tragedy prologued by a simple glance. It's getting late. Let's hurry up the mountain.
Five hundred years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always knew. One day you shall return. You challenge me without even letting me have dinner first. Some cheap tricks. Meet me at the summit if you dare! <laughs> the spell he just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs> and disperse, illusions traverse. You still have a lot to learn, but give yourself the time you need.
Master promised a reward for whoever kills the mountain. He once told me, out of sight, out of mind is a fool's task. Seeing but seeing through is what wise men do. But didn't he turn mad by what he saw too? <laughs> Oh! 
Valkyrie is saved! Oh, oh, pardon me, young sage! Mercy, young sage, have mercy! I was just a pawn of the Celestial Court. If given a choice, who dared to challenge the mighty wrecker of the Celestial Palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly, and this thing is eerie. I have no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanyin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. Oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic.卷起千般缘，色与空，弹指间。轮回路，若万次千，求不得。闭上眼，一生功名忙如烟，浮沉落花断不。究竟寻常事，有情出。
Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinshe still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya? How shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows what powers stand behind them. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one Kasaya. Centuries of devotion, undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic. <laughs> 